Good afternoon folks, Doug here with Soul Motor Coach and do I have a treat for you today. I've already pulled this coach over to my favorite spot. We're gonna get the slides open. I can't wait to dig into this one and show you. Stick with me to the end folks. I, this is gonna be a fun one. Come on, let's go. show you everything the good bad and even if we find any ugly which I doubt we're gonna find anything negative on this one it's such a beautiful machine the previous owner really loved it 2020 Integra Cornerstone Imperial paint scheme absolutely stunning coach so much just this has this coach just has a really good classic feel to it I love the paint schemes. The coach is in amazing condition. First, let me start by saying it's a one owner, traded in at National Indoor RV Centers on a brand new 2024 Integra Cornerstone. The previous owners took amazing care of it. Starting at the front of the coach, we have a 12.5 Cummins Onan quiet diesel generator with 328 hours on it on a slide pneumatic slide out. Just push a button and that one comes out. On this side, we have our 12 volt chassis side that's the switch where you put the generator out tons and tons of storage in this coach i love this bay here really this is where i put my toolbox when i had uh, both my anthem and my cornerstone we have two power slide out trays there's your extra chairs for that dinette that does fold out and as you can hear in the background if you hear that aqua hot system going Yes, it's fired up. I've got the heated floors on, and we're gonna discuss more of that when we get inside the coach. Another power slide tray. There's your vacuum equipment. Looks like it's still maybe new in the box. We have a 50 amp power cord reel, Aqua Hot 450D. Something a little bit different on the cornerstone. It gives you this digital readout for your tanks. You can turn on and off your water pump, your cargo lights. Also, it has electric uh, valves, Valterra valves for your dumps. Also in the back and behind that door, it has the manual dump. So it does have that level of redundancy built in. 365, missed it on the front, but 365 tires on the front and 315 tires rounding out the rest of the coach. The coach paint on this one is absolutely beautiful with that Imperial paint scheme, stunning. Now you're seeing the coach exactly the way that we just received it. It's in beautiful shape, but it'll go through the full detailing process and the inspection process here at Sewell Motor Coach. We're gonna make sure this coach is 100% ready for you folks. Check the reviews, any dealer you're doing business with, I implore you to check their reviews. Jump on Google, type in Sewell Motor Coach or any dealer that you're doing business with. And here's the power plant on this one. Yes, it's a little bit dusty, but don't worry, we're gonna get all that detailed up for you. There's that 605 Cummins X15, 1950 pound feet of torque on that one. This is a massive machine. Look at the towing capacity here. It has trailer brake already set up, Air Force One standard here. And I wanna say this has a 20,000 pound towing capacity on the cornerstone. I love the front and rear caps on the cornerstone. And as we come around to this side, yes, we have double Gerard awning. Things that I really love about Integra, and I'm gonna talk more about this when we get inside, is the fact that they're, they're not an a la carte deal, uh, manufacturer. Pretty much when you order uh, an Anthem, a Spire, or a Cornerstone, it's, they're all gonna pretty much come with the same option. So when you're looking at used ones, you don't have to worry about, does this one have heated floors? Or does it have the, the, pow the power storage? Does it have Aqua Hot? You really can't take any options away from an Integra. All you can do is maybe change some furniture options, do a direct versus a dish network, things like that. So it really makes a difference when it comes to valuations on an Integra Cornerstone. All the cornerstones in the country are gonna be worth pretty much the same money. It's all gonna be based on condition. I want you to check condition. If you're comparing this coach to others in the market, condition is where this one's gonna separate itself from the pack. This, this coach is in absolutely stunning condition. One previous owner, they took amazing care of it. So thank you. If you're the previous owner, if you're watching this video, thank you for taking such great care of it. Continuing on, here is your Spartan Bay with your batteries, uh, your bus disconnects, easy filters to get to. There's your deaf fluid. Now on your deaf fluid, 
you can fill it from this side or on the other side there's a fill port for the other side continue on with our tires likely we're going to put two new tires on the front of this coach uh, because they're going to be really close to that five-year age but the drives and the tags are going to be completely good the tires on the front are in beautiful shape they really don't need to be changed but my rule of thumb is five years on the uh, steer tires seven years on the drive tires and 10 years on the tags if they don't meet that i just replace uh, no no questions asked here's your fresh water tank there's your inverter controls and more bus connectors and this is just the opposite side of where your power slide trays are here's your power slide trays and that's how we pop those in and out coming around here yes the continuation of the same side with the two chairs and yes we have a Dometic freezer on a slide out tray and then here's our awning control remote right here I've said it for years even the, the reason I kind of wound up on the Anthem and the Cornerstone was the simple fact that the Cornerstone is the best value when you need to tow heavy weight if you want to tow 20,000 pounds and you want a Cornerstone you get a late model Cornerstone for a fraction of the price of what a King Air less than half the price of what a King Air is and you get the same horsepower the same towing capacity and honestly the build quality is as good or maybe even a little better and we get inside i want to show you something that integra does that even newmar king air does not do we're going to show you why this coach is the quietest and best riding fiberglass coach on the market maybe except for the four travel and and of the like one thing of note also that you really got to pay attention to on a lot of these coaches you can always tell a coach that uh, the Integra that's been sitting outside a lot because these sea lights will start to yellow and the clear will fade and crack. These lights look like they're brand new. So you can really tell that this coach was stored inside when it was not in use. And at 36,000 miles, in my opinion, that's the perfect amount of miles for a coach like this. You don't wanna see something with too low of miles. This coach being a 2020, I did happen to look at the Carfax and check the in-service date. Looks like it was sold January of 2020. So that makes it just a hair over four years old. And if this coach only had five or 10,000 miles, I would actually be concerned that it had some issues that uh, the first year or two it takes to get the first year or two issues kinks worked out so i like the fact that this coach has 36,000 miles it's not too high but it's also not too low it's the right amount of miles and you can always tell a meticulous owner when they care for one the paint on this one is in beautiful shape none of that sun scratching none of that uh, miscare and the sea lights are in beautiful shape in the front and the back let's check the back yes, the rear sea lights are also in beautiful shape none of that cracking none of that uh, faded clear coat on them again you can really tell this coach was cared for and kept inside its whole life awesome awesome condition all right you were up on the roof on this cornerstone behind me i'm beautiful coach i'm doing my own video i wanted to ask you if you went on the roof i don't get on roofs okay you can see why uh ladders typically don't hold me oh solar panels on this roof how did it look was it, it looked really great the roof looked clean gotcha. there's two additional panels well, there's two panels on the roof okay. at the back okay i estimate between 100 to 150 a piece so okay. so at about least 200 to 300 watts of solar all right and you said something about lithium batteries yeah i opened up the uh, the basement house batteries because first and foremost i am a rv technician but i knew as soon as i uh, opened up this right here and i saw a victron energy battery monitor I was going to be happy with what I found, which is four 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. Which was a wonderful find for me because I think uh, lithium batteries are probably the way to go in an RV like this. That smart display uses RV CAN bus and there's a bridge right here that allows these inverters to talk to that. that one touch display on the inside has a remote panel because there's not a Magnum re uh, remote panel in this RV. And if you look at it, they have upgraded it so it is lithium compatible. It's a huge upgrade. So does this coach have James stamp of approval? Of course it has my stamp of approval. <laughs> That's what, I, got, I, I gave you the list on it already. We have an inspection on this one. If you want that inspection, please, we're, have, we're I'm full disclosure. I'm gonna show you, I didn't find anything really negative cosmetically. Every coach has a list. How many times, let me ask you this, James. Yes. This coach had a one page list. Yes. Okay. How many coaches do you do that have a zero page list? It's never happened to me. <laughs> uh, you should never trust an inspector that doesn't find anything wrong. Now, in fairness, half of that list or the page it's was just notes. Informational. Just information. So yeah, that's what I know. So now, is it common to find a coach that has 
only one or two things wrong with it. Uh, if you close your eyes, I guess. Okay, so nice coach. Uh, happy to share James's inspection. You're the one that broke this cornerstone anyways. I broke this one, yeah. We we had a little boo-boo. I hit a pothole. We busted a leveling valve. That's gonna... <laughs> I'm so much glad. I'm so much more happy that it was you and not me <laughs> driving it because I would have felt awful. We, we split past there, yeah. and I got a, t uh, a phone call like 10 minutes later. Can hey, you, how far away are you? Come help me, please, <laughs> please. I would have been there for hours. It took you 10 minutes to fix that problem, and I would have been there for hours. That's a pretty easy system. And the, and the repair is probably going to be like $3. I hope so. Good. Right, they even upgraded the Magnum RVC, the RV can, uh, oh, wow. can bus for the bridge for the inverter. You're, you're, so they did everything right. He's talking Spanish. I don't know what he's talking about. No. Check out James's channel, AZ Expert. You probably found me through his channel because he's got like a bajillion subscribers. Mm -hmm. I'm just this little lowly RV You're salesman. You're hardly lowly. Uh, well, I'm big. You're putting out a lot of good videos. I, I, We've been... enjoyed it. I want to thank you for coming in and helping us. It's been a big plus for us. So thank you again. Hopefully we can get you to move out here permanently. I thought the outside was awesome on this coach. I'm going to pop the door open here. We're going to take you inside. We're going to open it up and show you everything. Come on in here. Let's go. Well, welcome into this coach, folks. And first and foremost, let me say, when it comes to the differences between a 19 and a 2020 Cornerstone, you really need to pay attention because some things that Spartan did on the chassis, we're, this has got the Spartan K2 chassis, the 605 Cummins, the 4,000 Allison transmission, 20,000 pound towing capacity, 1,900 pound feet of torque. But most importantly for 2020, they changed the leveling system in this to be all valve leveling, got the huge front end under it with the 365s. Also, they added the easy steer. You know, that system that Numar has had for years, um, Integra finally got it in the 2020 model year. They added easy steer to this. You don't get that in the 19. Also, the 19s had Hadley air leveling, and now with the valid air leveling, you've won control. Like, so now when we operate everything on the coach, on the chassis side, it's pretty much all done on this dial. Now, we still have our three-stage engine brake over here. So we have on and off, and then we have low, medium, and high for the engine brake here. But really, one dial, as we look down here, and I turn this dial here, you see that the options are changing. We got our tire pressure monitoring system. This is our easy steer. So we can actually control, by push of a button, I can actually control how much assistance I wanna get from the easy steer system. So that's a huge plus for the 2020 model, and that's actually, why I ended up choosing a 2020. There were some really good deals on 19s at that time, but I ended up choosing a 2020 just for that reason. But let's dig into what this coach is all about. I love the L-shaped sofa. Both of my, uh, my Anthem and my Cornerstone both had the L-shaped sofa. Very, very comfortable to sit on if you put your back in that corner, stick your feet out this way. Multiple people can sit. I used to sit with my back in the corner there. My wife would lay down uh, right across my lap with a pillow. We'd lay right here and watch our television. Really, really comfortable. But also, this is the only option in the cornerstone in this floor plan that allows you to have a pull-out bed. So you get a pull-out bed. The other options are, and if you're interested and you don't like the L-shaped sofa, give me a call because we can get the uh, same matching sofa built by Villa to uh, slide in here becomes a power reclining option. Multiple different options we can do here, theater seating, all kinds of stuff we can do. Across from the sofa and right next to your Samsung television, of course, every television in the coach has a sound bar. Of course, we have a fireplace here, but right next to that is beautiful uh, dinette. I love, this is a good time to point out the difference. We have not only under cabinet lighting, we got lighting everywhere. Uh, we, this is beautiful countertops here, and I love the natural cherry 
uh, cabinets here. Yes, there are two more chairs. We've seen them underneath the coach in the bays on one of the power slide out trays. There's two more chairs. This does pull out so you can seat four people comfortable. Right next to the dinette table is gonna be your residential Whirlpool refrigerator with water nice in the door. And they were able to squeeze in a little pantry, little coat closet, broom closet, whatever you wanna call it right there. Adjacent to the refrigerator is a a little curio cabinet, a little niche. It is well lit. I really like the fact that they put a lighting in there and a really nice design in the door. Right next to that is going to be our galley with the pull-out island. This pushes in and out. We have a dishwasher that is panel, a panel-ready dishwasher, so it's beautiful. No stainless steel sticking out there. And we have a trash can holder in there. Also, our uh, Co sink covers are going to store in there. I love the fact that they did a wooden uh, protector for your induction cooktop, multi-level countertops, multi-level lighting in this. And I love the backsplash they put in this coach and tons and tons of storage and cabinetry here. Whirlpool convection microwave. 45B is a bath and a half, but before we get to the half bath, I do want to highlight this pantry because this is my wife's decision. The reason, one of the reasons we chose the 44B, the 45B was the fact that this pantry, huge pantry space, making this one of the best floor plans in my opinion. We get into the half bath, we have our whole coach computer system. This is going to show you, this allows you to operate every option in the coach from the floor heat to the shades, electric power shades. Um, air conditioning, three roof air conditioners, 15K, all with heat pumps, and we can literally operate all of our lighting. This is a very in-depth system. Call if you want to know more. I don't have the time in this video to really go through what this system is all about, but if you're interested in this coach or this, in, in this system in particular, this Firefly system is very, very in-depth. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of this, this is an amazing system to have. You can literally operate every function in the coach including the televisions the radio everything from this system right here i think you you really appreciate that coming into the half bath here huge half bath integra makes one of the largest half baths in the industry we have a power flush toilet that does drop straight into the black water tank tons of room in here power uh, shades all the way throughout the coach i love the backsplash actually no backsplash i love the wallpaper in this one they just did a phenomenal job a really design, Integra's design team just does an amazing job with the choices that they make for design. Coming just past our pantry, it's gonna be another set of drawers for the bedroom. We have a, another Samsung television with a sound bar, and then we can pull this out right here. This gives us our safe storage. This is where our, some of our electronics or our uh, components are held right here, but more storage back there. We pop that TV back in place right next to that. We're going to have more storage. A window right across from that is going to be our king size bed. And look at the beautiful bed linens. This is a king size sleep number bed. This allows you to adjust the sides. Each side can adjust what you like. So if you don't know anything about sleep number, jump on their website. This is a sleep number king size mattress. Above the bed, we're going to have more storage in the ever important ceiling fan. Well, let's get back into the bathroom because I think you're going to like that. Coming back in here, we have this beautiful bathroom. I love the fact that Integra does a different color vanity just to kind of break it up, but they put that same beautiful backsplash, underlit cabinetry, and look here, three medicine cabinets, dual compartment sink with that same countertop throughout, the same flooring, and I absolutely love Integra showers. They do something good. They actually drop the shower pan a little bit down so you don't have to step six or eight inches up into the shower yeah we do have a little bit of a threshold of lip to help divert water back into the drain but let's get in the shower i want to show this to you solid solid shower here real tile the same floor tile throughout and they got some little accent tile here and it is absolutely beautiful i love the skylight in this one and right next to the shower is a tecma toilet reason why this floor plan is so so popular is the fact that it becomes one of the most livable floor plans not only the shower size and the location of the toilet but they did a good job with the location of the washer and dryer and it's not something that we use all the time 
but a washer and dryer they very conveniently located it in a spot that doesn't get in the way it's not obtrusive in the bedroom it really they really put it in a great spot and right next to the washer and dryer behind me here is the closet let's check that out closet in the integra not only for the design and the woodwork and hey how y'all doing uh th that's just one part of it but when you open up the door here we have automatic lights that pop on cedar line closet with a lighted bar here really helps you to see everything in the coach something different about uh, the Integra line on the luxury line is the way they build the, the coach. First of all, the heated floors are hydronically heated with the aqua system. So all throughout the floors here, there's PEX tubing running and uses boiler fluid, sends boiler fluid underneath the floors and it's a good way to hydronically heat the floors. It's just another way to heat the coach. In fact, I'm heating the coach right now. It's a little bit warm in here because I've had those heated floors on all morning and they're really firing up this coach and making it nice and warm in here. But also, the way that Integra builds their coaches, five and a half inch thick floors, hung wall construction, one piece molded fiberglass roof are just to name a few of the things. But most notably, in my opinion, they do two things to make this one of the quietest uh, riding coaches. Most manufacturers, including Numar, when they put the floors down, it's one of the first things they do. They bring the chassis in, they build the structure, and then they lay the floors down. Then they start building the walls on top of the floors and they bolt the walls to the floors. Well, Integra does the opposite. They go ahead and build the coach and one of the last things they do is they hand lay the tiles in this coach to the walls like you would in a house. And that's just gonna help reduce and eliminate squeak, uh, squeaks and rattles and all that kind of stuff. One more thing that they do I think is hugely important, but there's a couple pocket doors in this coach, one of which being right here. But one thing they do is they put a little plunger system down here that's operated by air. And as soon as you release that air brake, it pushes that plunger up and it's going to keep that door from uh, moving around and rattling and making a lot of noise. Let's take it a ride around the parking lot. Maybe we'll head down the road and get you a feel for it. Come on, let's go. Take this for a little ride around the parking lot and kind of show off the turning capabilities that it has. Now I'm in the parking lot. Yes, I'm holding the camera but I'm in a, an open parking lot with hardly anybody around me. The turning radius on this coach is tremendous. And let's show that off here. This is a rather small parking lot, only about 20 spaces wide on each row, but I can really make some tight turns in here. This 45 foot coach really feels with the passive steer axle. It really feels like it's a much smaller smaller coach and the way it drives it almost feels like you're driving a sub 40 foot coach huge plus about the easy steer is the fact that once you turn your wheels you're not this coach is not going to allow you to drop your coach if you forget to turn your wheels back straight you can turn your wheel one way or another and the moment you let go of the wheel it's going to recenter itself right back to center every time i've set the camera up uh, on the dash here Let's get this out on the highway. Let's see what it's like going down the road. Get my seatbelt on here. Got my seatbelt on. We got clear passage to get on the highway. Let's get this coach up to uh, 55, 60 miles an hour. All right, I got it straightened out. Let's get this up to speed to see what it's all about. You can see how quiet uh, an Integra Cornerstone. Now, I have to be honest, we're not on the, the cleanest and most smooth roads. We're out on the high four lane highway. It's pretty good but this should give you a good indication. Already up to 50 miles an hour in just a few seconds, barely touching the gas pedal. I'm not even on the mat, not even close. There's 60 miles an hour right there. So you can really see what it's like. I'm just gonna shut up for a second and let you experience it. Maybe I'll even turn the camera on and let you feel what it's like 60 miles an hour. And there you go, again, there's 60 miles an hour right there. We probably need to make a lane change. Let's get back over into this other lane here. Sorry, I'm not using a gimbal. Just kind of got the, the camera staged up on the dash here. Folks, I hope I hit all the points in this, but I'm sure I missed something. If you're interested in this coach, please give me a call. My cell phone is down below. Give me a call at 859 
613-2574. We'd love to talk with you about a deal on this coach if you have any questions, or you can just shoot us an email. Jump on our website at soulmotorcoach.com, S-E-W-E-L-L, motorcoach.com. You can jump on there, just click the Contact Us button, shoot us an email, ask any questions that you have. Be happy to help you out and answer those. We are a small boutique-style dealership, folks. We only handle so many transactions per year. This makes us not transactional. We limit the number of transactions that we do so we can really focus on relationships. And this is the part of the video, thank you all for sticking in there, but this is the part of the video where if you're not really interested in this coach or how we do business, this is the part where you wanna sign off. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate every one of you. At Soul Motor Coach, it's very important to us that we operate in a open, honest, and trustworthy uh, manner. It's why we have uh, three inspections on every coach. The first inspection happened just a few days ago when I picked this coach up. The second inspection actually happened by James AZ Expert. He did a full inspection on this coach when it arrived back at the lot. And the third inspection is the most important one. That's the PDI or per, otherwise known as pre-delivery inspection. That's after you decide this is the right coach for you. We're going to take this coach through a full pre-delivery inspection and repair. Folks, we're going to find anything we find, we're going to fix it and we're going to repair it. We're going to service everything in the coach that can be serviced 100% from the engine the transmission if it needs it, if it's due. Also, we're gonna service the aqua hot for you. And we're gonna touch, feel, use every system in the coach, everything on the Firefly system. We're gonna uh, just boil water on the cooktop. We're gonna run the hot water. We're gonna check those heated floors, check all your air conditioning. We're also gonna get on the roof and do a complete roof wash and roof treatment. We use a, a UV protectant on the roof that uh, lasts for a year. It is really, really good. And buying a coach like this is very important. It's very important that you uh, trust the dealer or the person you're buying from, folks. Any dealer you're doing business with, the best thing you could do is jump on Google and check their Google reviews. And I implore you to jump on Google and check our reviews. See what other people are saying about us here at Soul Motor Coach. It's very important. We have all of the financing that the big dealers have. We can get you the great rates, the good terms. We love trade-ins here. Big one there, folks, the, you know, comparing apples to apples. I'm going to be the best deal in the country. When I bought this coach, I bought it knowing what I had to price it at to be the best deal in the country. And I monitor that market constantly. We are a one price dealer. It's very important. You never have to worry about negotiating with us. If you have a trade-in, we're going to give you our best deal right up front. You never have to worry about that whatsoever. You had a wonderful time watching this video. I enjoyed this one. This one hits home for me a lot because I literally owned a 2020 Cornerstone. I love these units. I think these are probably some of the best value on a high horsepower coach on the market. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you. Oh,